Welcome to the next video in the Life on Earth topic. This video will be looking at the dot point, discuss the ways in which the developments in scientific knowledge may conflict with the ideas about the origins of life developed by different cultures. So let's look at science first and then we'll compare it with some of the other uh, religions and cultures that exist. So science believes that evolution is a process where organisms are constantly changing as a result of the changes in their environment that they are not created as they are, but that they have evolved over time. So throughout history, science has obviously improved greatly through the use of technology. So the light microscope allowed us to have a look at the cellular level of organisms. The electron microscope allowed us to then go further and have a look at the intracellular structure. So what actually is in each of the different types of cells. And then obviously, Further developments since then, such as amino acid sequencing, have allowed us to have a look at exactly what the makeup of different organisms are and how they are related to organisms from the past. So let's have a look at some other cultures or religious views on the origins of life. So firstly, Christians. So Christians believe in biblical creationism, which they believe that all organisms were created by God. Christians also believe that there's been no change over time, that everything was created the way God wanted them to be created and that evolution hasn't had any part in this. Then we have the Chinese. So the ancient Chinese believed that the first organism evolved in a giant cosmic egg. And within that egg were all the elements that were needed uh, for life to exist all mixed together. And obviously when that egg then hatched, then life on earth was able to flourish. The Aboriginals, as we know, uh, spend or share their stories through dreamtime stories or their dreamtime beliefs. And through these dreamtime stories, we've been able to see that Aboriginals believed that great supernatural beings existed. And it was these organisms or these beings that created the earth itself and then everything on and within the earth. Next, we have the ancient Greeks and Aristotle was, as we've already looked at Aristotle or spoken about him uh, with his theory of spontaneous generation, Aristotle believed that the whole universe had a level or levels of hierarchy, that everything from a rock all the way through to God fit in to their little niche um, and that sort of how life all fit together. And then lastly, we have the Romans. And Lucretius, who was a Roman philosopher, believed that there was no God because the universe was so imperfect. Because there's no symmetry, because everything's sort of just mixed up, he believed that the universe was made of particles that were all squeezed together. Now, this obviously is a very superficial sort of overview of each of these different cultures, but it gives you a little bit of a background and somewhere to start when you're going to spend some time having a look at a couple of these in particular and get some ideas of how their views differ to those of science. And as we can see from looking at science who believes that evolution caused every organism on earth to be the way it is due to changes in its environment. And then each of the different religions believed that there was some other way that life on earth began. That science contradicts with the beliefs of many people. It doesn't mean that science is right or the religions are right, just that uh, the different ideas that different people have need to be accepted uh, in order for all of us to obviously move forward and try to discover through science um, how exactly it all happened and how evolution takes place. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching.